Mario! Ah, Mario. Nintendo's number one mascot and everyone's favorite plumber. Or is he? Anyway, he has been in almost every gaming genre in existence. From platformers, puzzle games, RPGs, fighting games, rail shooters, sports games, racing games, art games, educational titles, party games, mock survival horror, you name it. The list can go on and on. But with this being said, will there ever be a point where fans will reach franchise fatigue like other franchises do? One franchise alone cannot keep a console afloat. Even a widely acclaimed gaming mascot can't always hit a home run. Don't get me wrong, I love a good Mario game as much as the next gamer, but on occasion it does feel like the Mario franchise has been exhaustingly overexploited by Nintendo to a ridiculous degree. These games are either made directly by Nintendo themselves or are given to a second or third party developer. If anything, I do praise Nintendo for still managing to keep Mario fresh after all these years. But does that really mean that Mario has to shoehorn himself in every puzzle game, RPG, and sports game? And on an ironic note, Mario refuses to cross over with Sonic in a platformer game, but participating with him in the Olympic Games is okay. Really? Sure, you can make the argument that Nintendo has full right to make Mario games however they want since it's their top tier franchise. Heck, they exploit the character more than Disney exploits Mickey Mouse. However, my counter argument is that Nintendo has grown slightly too dependent on Mario for financial profits when the company has a good lineup of older intellectual properties that are mostly sitting on the shelf collecting dust. Just because fans love Mario doesn't mean he has to be the main attraction hogging the spotlight 24 hours a day and 7 days a week, 365 days a year. I feel this is the reason other titles get left in the dust. I can give you a few examples. F-Zero faded into obscurity because players prefer Mario Kart. Now F-Zero tracks make cameos in Mario Kart 8. 1080 Snowboarding The second game in the series, 1080 Avalanche, wasn't as popular. So what did Nintendo do? They chose to approach Electronic Arts, of all things, and gave them the license to use Mario characters in their game SSX on Tour, a rival snowboarding title. What about the Ken Griffey Jr. baseball games? They also faded into obscurity in favor of Mario Super Sluggers. Excite Bike. Even this game was taken over by Mario at one point. On the Satella view, but still. Golden Sun. After three games, Nintendo's third-party developer Camelot is too busy making Mario Golf and Mario Tennis games for some reason. Again, I am not hating on Mario. His transition from 2D to 3D was hugely successful and most Mario games are held in high regard. I simply want more variety from Nintendo, though I do appreciate the company coming up with newer intellectual properties every once in a blue moon. I also want them to bring their old stuff back every once in a while instead of milking the Mario franchise dry. So what do you think? Have you experienced any Mario burnout? Should Mario just stick to platformers? Do you enjoy the spin-off titles or do you find them tiring and excessive? Leave them in the comments below and let's get this discussion going. This has been Hadouken Dude, thanks for watching. Until next time.